This is AEDT 1120U, Foundations of Digital Teaching and Learning Technologies. This is the final video clip in this particular course, and it's entitled Web 4.0, The Meta Web. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. Number one, how does the Desjardins interaction model characterize Web 4.0? Number two, how does Spivak's Meta Web model characterize the Meta Web? And number three, Compare and contrast the two models with respect to Web 4.0. The HCHI model, Desjardins 2001-2005, is being used in this course as it outlines the major technological competencies that will be explored throughout the course. According to the Desjardins interaction model, Desjardins 2009, Web 4.0 technologies lie at the intersection of the technical, informational, social, and epistemological orders. Consequently, competencies which are required for each of these orders should be required to work in a proficient manner with technologies that have affordances of this nature. This is where things get tricky, since there is no clear definition for Web 4.0, and examples for this designation are difficult to pin down. Perhaps it will, and this is a quote, consist of enhanced real-time communication between friends and followers, your online personal profile will be one profile running across multiple social networks. Personalized marketing and advertising experiences based around your profile when you sit down at any computer. And location-based services marketing will primarily be used to trigger impulse buying based around one's hobbies or interests. An end quote. And that is taken from William Dobbs in LinkedIn Answers. The characteristics of this description seem to incorporate competencies from all four of the orders in the Desjardins interaction model. This slide presents a slightly different way of looking at a related scenario. Nova Spivak, on his blog Minding the Planet, suggested that the internet technologies can be categorized using two dimensions, the degree of information connectivity and the degree of social connectivity. This typology becomes a conjecture that we started to explore last week and we will conclude in this video clip. Cedric Periante, in his 2009 blog post that can be found at fineextra.com, and Afhai Nemet Bakash and Ferzani, 2012, suggest that Web 4.0 could be a symbiotic web in which human minds and machines can interact with organized metadata flowing out of the Web 3.0 using mind controlled interfaces. Willem Cosson, in his WillemCosson.nl blog in a December 4th, 2010 post, suggests that, quote, Web 4.0 is the web that extends to the real world. It's the web of things where your house becomes part of the web and your car, where your body becomes part of the internet, where you DM your thermostat using Twitter.com to turn the heat up because you are going home early where the refrigerator orders milk when it notices it's running out, when your car checks the Google Calendar for you and your garage to make a service appointment, and where your general practitioner is notified of changes in your glucose levels in your blood automatically and remotely. It's the web where a seat in a plane is automatically registered when a location in your Google Calendar is remote and a taxi is already waiting to pick you up without you even thinking about it. Notice that most of those technologies that were being described there already exist. They're just not linked together in any way that's uh, comprehensible at this point in time. The theoretical considerations for this video clip can be found on pages 60 to 71 in the Mike Evans presentation document found at cscan.org. And Web 4.0, the era of online customer engagement, and that's found at the URL that's found on the screen. Please be aware that these documents are primarily analyses that were conducted from and for a business perspective, and while they have a limited value in a, an education context, they will help to understand the ideas that are implicit when looking at the development of the World Wide Web and the Internet. That brings us to the final set of synthesis questions for this course. Number one, do the mobile technologies currently available match the description of the technology affordances for Web 4.0 given by William Dobbs earlier in this vid clip. Why or why not? Number two, take a closer look at the examples that Spivak gives for Web 4.0 technologies and determine whether you think they fit within the Web 4.0 descriptions given above. 
In addition, consider the placement of the MetaWeb Quadrant in the high degree of information connectivity and high degree of social connectivity portion of the MetaWeb Graph. Is this placement in agreement with the positioning of the earlier Web 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0? And what do you think about the notation, the global brain, in the top right quadrant? And finally, number three, much of the discussion regarding Web 4.0 deals with business and not education perspectives. What do you think will be the impact of Web 4.0 technologies on adult education? And that brings us to the end of these video clips. <music>